For me, no. I mean, comic book is for me uh, my uh, my media. I mean, uh, when I start uh, uh, a story, I, I write a little bit because I, I like the writing process, but then I know I'm going to need a drawing to kind of, ex I, 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 instead of explaining something, it's faster with the drawing. And there's always a choice where is it more efficient to use a text than a drawing? And then there's always a nice solution that you can use and put that into just two pages instead of 10. Or uh, So it's very uh, concentrate. That's what I like about comic book. And I'm not the kind of comic book artist that would dream of doing cinema because comic book is kind of a small cinema. Uh, it's a lot of freedom. I mean, if tomorrow I want to start a, a Western or a science fiction book, I just start. Uh, if you do a film, you're going to spend months trying to convince someone that it's a good idea to do a science fiction film. And you lose a lot of energy on not creating the creative process. Whereas comic, you spend 99% of the energy on just the creative process, which I like. All you need is paper, a table, a place where you work, and that's it. Yeah. So I went to China, I took notes, and when I came back, um, I was thinking, oh, maybe some of these stories that happen in China can make uh, just short stories. So I didn't plan to make a book, because at the time, that's a long time ago, uh, it was not so easy to make uh, comic books uh, like that. So I don't have that, um, that look that a journalist would have because I, I walk on the street and I observe small things and I think, oh, that's interesting because sometimes it tells more than just the small details. So from that point of view, uh, it can embrace something bigger. But I like to s start with small details. It's not something that I decide. It's not something that, oh, let's make a book about observation. It's just I take notes and that's how it works for me. And then I transcribe transcribe that in comic books, which is, for me, a very nice way to um, tell a story in a narration, because it's very powerful to me. I think that for everybody that uses um, uh, himself as a narrator, which is very convenient, because you put yourself in the story, you can be there, you can talk, you can have a direct dialogue, you have all sorts of tools that you can use in your narration. That's why I really like it. But then, um, the way it works is I have that character who is myself, but it's just a few facets of my personality because uh, there's the humor, there's the naive side, there's the I don't really understand what's going on side. And all this is the facets that are very uh, convenient for the story I do uh, and for the humor I have. Same with the second the character, like my wife or my kids, is just one facet because I don't have, I cannot explain the whole personality. I went to North Korea in 2001 when it, when it was quiet, nobody was talking about it. And uh, once I was there, I thought, well, this is a crazy place, and I think if I do a comic, it's going to be interesting, because not so many people go in North Korea. I work the same. I take notes, and I put everything that I found very interesting in, in the book. And in North Korea, every day, there was something interesting, because it's such a strange place that it was kind of easy to make a book with that. I like to talk about the small details, and on North Korea, there was lots of culture gap, and that's, that's what I, um, I, I like to work with. Uh, so it was actually quite easy to do, yeah. When you prepare to be a parent, you read all these serious books about parenting and, the, and you think, yeah, right, it's, it's very clever, you need to read them. But then uh, it was nice to make a book just to go on the other side and say, well, sometimes you're not so good and <laughs> sometimes you're not at the best. And it's nice to, to, well, to acknowledge that and to show it. Uh, and since it's always based on humor, I, I'm, I do these stories based on what happened in the family. And I think, oh, this is funny. I can make a story with that. Uh, and it's just 
after Jerusalem, who was a long and serious book, I wanted to do short stories with just fun, no explanation of historical or geography, just with the children. A bit like I do in the book, but just only that. So it was, for me, just a way to release and to have a lot of fun. I've, I'm, I'm laughing out loud when I do these stories. The process of um, uh, s'enfuir, hostage, is, uh, was quite different because uh, the story is very different. It's not me in the book. And um, so Christophe André told me the whole story that I record. So uh, he, he was mentioning that he was in the, in the dark all the time, but there's no way I can make old comic in the dark. So it was uh, a matter of, of playing with the grays and the shades. I used just one color to keep it very minimalistic. So I've kept it like that for the text, for the drawing and for the color, because the story is so strong that I wanted to have the, his story, just like when he tells it, to be um, on the, f on the front side and the drawing almost in the background. The, the drawing are very simple because I want to keep it not spectacular, no effects. Because the more you put special effects, the less you realize that it's a real life story. And I wanted to, the reader, always keep in mind that this happened to this guy and it's a true story. And I wanted to convey the reader just next to him to be in his head and have an immersive type of experience. That's why it's a, it's a big book. I needed a lot of page to experience that. In that book, yeah, that's true that I have the unity of time, the unity of space, because I, I didn't want to work uh, with flashback like uh, when I was younger or, uh, or say meanwhile in Paris, everybody goes crazy because they don't find him. I didn't want to use that and I didn't want to use uh, uh, two weeks later, you see Christophe André and he's still more depressed, more tired and more um, uh, his beard has grown. I wanted to feel the time and uh, the two weeks you turn the page and you feel the two weeks. You don't have that type of effects because if you want to have an immersive, you have to be with him from beginning to end. So that was the whole purpose of the book.